My ex-wife cheated on me. Five years. Where's the fucking loyalty, huh? How'd you know? I'd hear her making secret phone calls late at night. You know, at first I thought I was paranoid and thought that maybe she'd found out what I'd do for a living and was calling the cops. But the bitch wasn't calling the cops. She was calling my unemployed neighbor, having phone sex with him when I was there in the apartment. Imagine what they were doing when I wasn't there. What do you say, Marcus? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> See what happens when you make this fucking noise? Who is it? Wow, well, he's, he's got a lot of things on him. Max is unconscious and unable to breathe on his own. Right. Uh, will he come out of it? He may regain some function, but more than likely, no, he won't. Poor Max. We were wondering, are you able to help us find the next of kin? So far, we haven't been able to locate anybody. Oh, I'm, I'm sure he was married once. Did he never bring anyone to, I don't know, company Christmas party, anything like that? No, I, I think he always came alone. I, I didn't really notice. Max was the only old-timer in the place. Never understood why he stayed on after they promoted other blokes around him. We believe Max is a possible candidate for organ donation. Do you know if this is something he might have considered? He got me there. <laughs> he seemed like a nice enough guy. Always coughed up when the hat went around the office. So I suppose he wouldn't mind giving away his organs. And Tim? Jim. No, sorry, Jim. Does the book dictate your life? No, it doesn't. Not at all. You're reading way too much into this. It's just something to get you off your ass. And how about you? Has it made you proactive? Are you going for what you want? Absolutely. Well, I hope it works out for you. <sighs> Thanks. How can I help you today? We want to buy a home. Great. Do you have a deposit? Well, Actually, we don't. Why don't you like me? I just don't. Didn't you get the message? Because I seem to remember explicitly telling the both of you to fuck off. Because I don't give a shit about what you're trying to sell or who you're trying to save. So get your faggoty asses off my porch before I call the cops. Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! Just remember, sir, Jesus loves you. Ah! Who the hell is that? Your wife. Do you think I'd ask you who that was if I was my wife? So who is she? How the fuck should I know? You're the one who brought her here. Fuck! Kind of looks like your wife. I picked her up at the address you gave me. Six Holt Street. That's not a six, that's an eight. That's an eight? You can't even fucking read your own handwriting. Thank God, this is such a relief. What is it? A pneumatic jig. <laughs> that's it? This baby's gonna revolutionize the building industry. Oh, well, lucky Max had his stroke after. He handcuffed it to his wrist then, hey? Yeah. yeah. Poor, poor Max. Nobody should end up like that. Down, little buddy! Hey! Hey, Harry says it's time for your front line. Yes, it is. Yes! <laughs> Here you go, fellas. Flea and tick protection for you, my man. Easy as that. Who's the dog? You're the dog. You're the doggy-woggy. You're the doggy-woggy-woggy!